There are four types of digital piano on the market today, and this is an example of what's probably the most popular. And this is called the upright digital piano, and it's designed to look like an acoustic upright piano. So it's very much a piece of furniture as much as it is a piano. So pianos like this you will find will have a music desk, which in this case is adjustable for rake, and the music desk will invariably have music clips to hold your music in place. There'll also be a lid, which will not only cover the whole keyboard, but in some cases will also cover just the controls, which is quite a nice touch. The most uh, important thing about the upright digital piano is the fact that it has an integral stand. And the integral stand will house the speaker system. It will also house the pedals and will be finished off with a nice backboard. Now this type of piano comes in a choice of finishes. Normally there's quite a lot of satin choices to finish to choose from, or in this case, black polished. Now if you prefer a more contemporary look, then some manufacturers produce a range of pianos such as this one here. So if you take a look at the music desk, for example, it doubles up as a lid when it covers the keys and then it becomes a music desk when it's open. And because the speaker system in these pianos is not quite as sophisticated as these, it means we can save space. So if you compare the two, you'll see that this piano here has speakers here, just underneath the lid. It has some speakers just down here above the keys and also the main bass speakers there. Now this piano just has speakers underneath and because of that we're able to have a shorter uh, cabinet, not quite as tall and also not quite as deep, which is great because it means that a contemporary looking piano like this could be used in very tight spaces and is also easy to move around. So the third type of digital piano is the portable digital piano. Very similar to an upright digital piano in terms of its features and its functions, but it doesn't have the integral cabinet. Now this means that it's nice and portable, it's easy to carry, you can put it away when it's not in use, or you can take it out and play it away from the home. Now this type of piano can be positioned on a cross frame stand, or as we have it here, on a Z frame stand, or sometimes on an optional matching stand. Now as there is no integral cabinet, you'll find that the speaker system for this piano is actually in the piano itself. And as I said earlier, that means it's easy to carry, it's nice and uh, light, but there is a trade-off in the sound. By comparison with a conventional upright digital piano, which has a cabinet, there's more space for a bigger speaker system. And then the fourth and the final category of piano is the stage piano. And these are aimed at the live gigging player who are out playing with bands and as such have no built-in speaker system. So if you take this piano here uh, as an example, you can see no speakers whatsoever because it's designed to be placed uh, and used with a big PA system or sometimes a portable keyboard amplifier. Now, in addition to that, the stage piano has a lot of functions and features aimed at the live player that you wouldn't really use perhaps in a home environment. For example, a live player would want to use up to four different sounds at once and be able to control the levels of them all on the fly. So you can see here, there are the four sounds and he can control the levels very quickly on the fly. There's also the ability to create sounds from scratch and lots of other features that a live player would enjoy. Now I mentioned at the start of the video that there were four different types. The upright digital piano, the compact uh, upright, the portable digital and the stage. But actually there's five and I haven't got a fifth one here to show you. But the fifth type is a grand piano. So if you've always fancied the look of a grand piano in your house but haven't quite had the space, then you can get a digital piano in a baby grand cabinet. And of course, not only do you get the look of a grand piano, but 
Also you get the sound because a baby grand cabinet has the space to have the flagship audio system.